So I'm going to be talking through this Maleficent picture that I made a while ago. So I'm first just starting out with a blank document and then I'm going over to the stock studio and I'm typing in woods. Once I've chosen the picture I want, I'm going to drag it over to the document and on the move tool I'm just going to resize it. I'm then adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure down. And then I'm adding a fill layer. And then I'm moving over to the colour wheel and I'm changing the colour to a dark blue. And I'm keeping the blend mode on normal and I'm bringing the opacity down. And then I'm adding a colour balance adjustment and I'm going to add some blue tones. And I'm clicking preserve luminance which just means it's not going to darken the picture. And then I'm moving over to the shadows and I'm going to add some blue tones in that as well. And again with the highlights. I'm then moving over to the picture of the model and I'm clicking on the pen tool and changing the motor smart. And I'm going to start making a selection around the woman. And once all the dots are connected, I'm going to click to selection at the bottom. And then I'm going to add a mask layer and then press deselect. And I'm just going to do the same again with some areas that I missed. And I'm then moving to the erase brush and I'm getting rid of that selection. And again, deselect. And I'm going to repeat this on all the other bits I need to get rid of. And then I'm moving back over to the forest and on the transform studio I'm just going to flip the model around to face the other way. I'm then going to rasterize the model and then I'm adding a fill layer and I'm using the same colour I used for the forest and I'm dragging that onto the woman and then I'm just bringing the opacity down. And 
and then I'm adding a colour balance adjustment and I'm just doing the same that I did with the forest so I'm adding a lot of blue tones And then adding an exposure adjustment and then bringing the exposure down. I've then added a mask layer to the woman. I'm just removing a little bit of the bottom of her dress. And now I want to start adding some light, so I've added a pixel layer and I'm changing the colour to green. And I'm dragging that layer onto the woman and then I'm zooming into the staff. And I'm just painting over the part where the light will be coming from. And I'm changing that to overlay and I'm bringing the opacity down a little bit then added another pixel layer and then using the same color I'm just painting a small circle and I'm changing that to add and again I brought the opacity down Then added another pixel layer but I'm making sure that it sits above the woman this time. And I'm changing that to add as well. And then I've just increased the size of the brush. And then I'm changing that to screen. And then I'm rasterizing the picture of the woman. I've added a new pixel layer and I've dragged that onto the woman. And I'm going back on the green that I used. And then with the paintbrush, I'm gonna start painting where I think the light from the staff will be hitting her. So I'm mostly just focusing on the right side. And then I've changed the blend mode to color dodge. And bringing the opacity down. And then I'm just going over a few more bits. And I'm doing the same again on a new pixel layer, but not as much.
And now I'm just adding a lot more that isn't as concentrated, but I've got the opacity on around 50%. And I'm changing that to soft light. I've gone back to the first layer of light on the woman and on the erase tool I just want to paint some of it away. And again, on a new pixel layer, I'm just adding some more green light. And I'm changing that to soft light. I then added a fill layer. and I'm changing the colour to green. And I've changed that to soft light. And then going back onto some of the other layers that I've made and I'm just adjusting the opacity. And then I'm adding a colour balance adjustment which is going to affect the whole picture and I'm adding some greens into the highlights and I'm adding some blues into the shadows. I've then added a curves adjustment and I'm bringing the whites down and the blacks up. I've then gone back to the colour balance adjustment and I'm bringing down the greens and the highlights. I've then gone back on the curves adjustment. And I'm bringing the blacks up a little bit more. I'm then moving through the colour channels and I'm messing around with the colours until I have the colours how I want them.
I'm then adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure up to brighten up the image. I'm then going back onto the model and I'm bringing the exposure up on her as well. I've then added the curves adjustment onto the woman and I'm bringing up the black points. And then I'm going back on the exposure adjustment and I'm bringing it down a bit. I've then added a new pixel layer which is at the top of all the layers. And then with the paintbrush I'm going to paint some of the green on the ground which is just going to add some more light. And I'm changing that to soft light and bringing the opacity down. And I brought the opacity down a bit more. And then on a new layer, I've color selected some of the dark parts of the ground And I'm dragging that layer onto the woman and I'm just painting it behind the woman which is going to be her shadow and I'm keeping that on normal and then I've added another pixel layer but I've changed the color to black and I'm doing the same again but with a smaller brush and I'm keeping that on normal and I brought the opacity down to around 17% And now I want to start adding some shadow underneath the dress. So I'm using the black and I'm painting under the dress with a small brush. And I've kept that on normal and brought the opacity down. And now I'm painting black over the dress, just to add some more shadow. I've then added a mask layer on the woman again and I just want to paint away a bit more of the dress just because some parts of the dress stand out a bit too much I've then added some more shadow underneath where she stood. I now just want to blur the forest a bit so the model stands out. So I've added a lens blur and I'm bringing the radius up and I'm going to click protect alpha at the right which just stops the edges of the picture from going funny. And now with a bigger brush and using the black I'm going to paint around the edges of the picture which is just going to help bring more attention to the model. And on a new layer, I'm going back to that green and I'm painting that in the center
I'm changing that to screen. And I'm dragging that layer to sit behind the woman. And then I'm going to do the same again but with a smaller brush. I'm changing that to screen. And I'm just going to leave that one at the top of the layers. And I'm changing the colour to black and I'm painting around the sides again. But I'm leaving a bigger gap in the centre. Again, I'm keeping it on normal, but I'm bringing the opacity down. And then I've added another layer which I've dragged onto the woman. And using the black, I just want to paint over the bottom of a dress. So it's not as bright. And then I've just rasterized the picture of the woman and I'm dragging another pixel layer onto her. And I want to start adding some more detailed shadow onto the woman. So I'm painting over where there's already some more darker bits, which is going to help add some contrast. And I'm going to keep that on normal. And then I'm going back to the green and I'm adding a bit more light. I'm doing the opposite that I just did with the black so I'm painting over the bits that are already lighter I'm changing that to color dodge and I'm bringing the opacity quite low I've then gone back on the lens blur and I've brought the radius up a bit more And then using this picture which is like a dust texture and I'm placing that over the image and I'm changing the blend mode to screen. And then I'm just bringing the exposure down 